from an early age, I definitely knew I wanted to go into science. So when I became pregnant, I basically looked at the nine month period, like a training for a marathon essentially. To prepare as much as I could for that experience, I researched everything I could about various childbirth education classes, um, meditation, visualization, exercise, and I knew with absolute certainty that I didn't want to have any stress in my life or to minimize it as much as possible for those nine months. We can completely eliminate stress from our lives. Um, and that's fine too because it prepares a baby for the world. Um, however, if we are under constant stress, then that baby has nothing but constantly elevated levels of stress hormones bathing in that amniotic fluid. One night I was laying in bed, my mind was just going and going and going over all the fears that I had. Am I gonna be a good mother? Is this child going to be healthy? Is the child going to have um, some kind of you know, developmental disorders or be killed you know, at whatever age? While I was sitting there at nighttime, probably two in the morning, stressing myself out, my baby began to absolutely kick so violently. It was like I'd never felt anything like it before up until that point. I immediately took several, you know, long, slow, deep breaths, and I actually talked to my baby, and I said, baby, you know, the stress that I'm feeling has absolutely nothing to do with you. It's all mine, and I'm absorbing it for you, and all you need to do is relax and calm yourself, and I'll calm myself too. And over the course of probably about five breaths, the movement just ceased. And I thought to myself, maybe I am really communicating in some way with the baby, but I chose not to dwell too much on that because I felt I can actually affect the prenatal environment. And whether it's pure chemicals and pure hormones or whether there's some kind of, you know, other, some kind of X factor, I, I really don't know.